What's going on guys? Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying up a little streamer. Uh, this is a perfect little streamer for smallmouth. I've been fishing this river lately, it has tons of smallmouth in it. So I wanted to tie something a little bit smaller, more compact for that. Um, it also works really well with largemouth and um, I'm sure pike will hit it as well. So I'm going to get a fresh hook in the vise and we'll get going with this tutorial. So the hook I'm using for this fly is a Partridge Universal Predator X in one knot. And the thread I have is some Vivas GSP in 100D. And this is the white. So I'm just gonna start my thread near the back of the hook bend here. Get a couple of nice wraps in, cut that out. And for tailing material, we're gonna be using some neck hackle in white. Now this is just kind of like the cheapy, this isn't like premium dry fly um, neck hackle. It's just kind of the uh, the cheap stuff and um, it works really good for tails because it's uh, you don't want to be using your really good premium hackle for tails because they tend to get ripped up sometimes. So I got four little strands here just like so. Now you don't want them pointing all the same way they have a natural curve to them, um, just like so. And as you can see, they're all pointing up. You want to try to get those pointing away from each other, just so they don't stick when they're in the water, so they have a little bit more movement. And if you don't have this hackle, um, you can easily use um, bucktail for the tail as well. But I just like this because it just has a little bit more movement. It's like so. So you can see like most of those are kind of turned. So I'm just gonna tie this in. And I usually want my tail about um, two, two and a half. Two and a half inches off the back there. I'm just going to tie this in nice and tight. One thing that I noticed, um, I used to tie this with a lot of flash and uh, one thing I noticed that uh, I don't tend to put any flash in it at all. I've kind of slowly um, gotten away from the flash. I just think it looks a little bit more um, natural. You can put a lateral, lateral scales in if you want. So I'm just going to tie this in nice and tight here. Just kind of maneuver those a little bit. Now I'm just going to come in with some super glue. Just hit those threads. So nothing's going to go anywhere. So the whole body of this fly is going to be um, white bucktail and you can tie these in uh, all kinds of different colors white um, black and olive are my go-to so as uh, as I said before you can actually use bucktail as a tail right here if you don't have um, hackle or if you only have like premium hackle and you don't want to uh, kind of waste it um, bucktail just works works just as well. So I'm gonna get a little clump here, get all the under fur off and pull out all these longer ones. And the clump is about half a pencil in diameter. And at the back I usually start, I do uh, three stacks right here. Um, one will be like a half a pencil one would be a three quarter, and the last one would be like a full pencil, so you get that taper. So I'm going to put this first stack of bucktail in. And I want it almost touching the, the back of these hackles, probably about an eighth, eighth off. So I'm just going to put two loose wraps there, and we're going to spin this bucktail. So I'm holding on to my uh, bobbin here so there's always tension on it. And I'm just going to use my thumb 
kind of wrap that around. Just like so. Now I'm just gonna come in and cut these butts out. You don't have it used for these, so you can just cut them right out. If you want, you can leave a little bit and um, wrap back if you want it to stand up a little bit more. But uh, I find that this is just, just as good. So I'm just gonna wrap those in really nice. Make sure every, everything's kinda properly proportioned around there. Then I'm gonna come in again with my super glue. Just dab that thread so it's not going to go anywhere. They'll soak into the thread as well as into the those butts a bit. So I'm just going to build just a little layer right here with my thread. Then I'm going to put in my net my next stack. So I'm going to have one, two. And I'm going to probably do another one right here. So I'm just going to get a little bit thicker of bucktail now probably about three quarter of a pencil. Just get, I'm just gonna get all this under fur out. I'm just flicking it into my garbage. Pull out any of the long fibers. I'm gonna tie this in. And you want this one to come about another eighth up that hook shank so um, you want it to blend into the next one you don't want it to be equal you don't want it to be too far up here you want it to be just a little bit I'd say about an eighth of an inch so I'm just gonna do that same thing I'm gonna get my nail here and spin this bucktail around Just make sure it's all nice and spread out. Just like so. You can just wrench that down with this 100D GSP. Come in with those scissors, just cut out those butts again. Make sure that's all nice and proportioned. Come with the super glue again. This is definitely critical to put super glue on here. You don't want this stuff uh, pulling out. So our last stack, I'm going to use um, the fibers near the bottom of the tail, which are, um, they hold more air. So when you push down on them really hard, uh, they kind of flare out a little bit more. I'm just gonna grab an, about a full size pencil here. Trying to get all the under fur off. And any of those long fibers you want to get pulled out. I was going to do the same thing we did. Now this stacks is going to be right to the another eighth of an inch back behind that last one. So I'm just going to put a couple wraps in there. And as you can see with this one, that bucktail really flares out a little bit more than the rest. 
just going to come in, cut all these butts. Kind of get that twisted right there. Just like so. I'm just going to get my thread, just cover all these butts up right to the back of the eye. Just like so. Now you can actually come in with a, a dubbing brush. I just have a little piece of Velcro here and kind of just brush out all this bucktail so if there's any caught. Sometimes it gets caught underneath the bottom of the hook there when you're spinning it. So you just want that all brushed back nice. Then again, we're going to come in with the super glue. A nice little dab on there. Now we're going to come in with our lateral lines. And you can use lateral scales for this. Um, I've tied a bunch with the, uh, with the lateral scales. I've went to this hackle. I like it a lot more. Um, it's just some grizzly hackle. Pretty thin stuff. Just a little um, cape. So I'm gonna get two two pieces here. Now I'm gonna put them in so the curvature of the hackle is inside of the fly. And with this hackle, you don't want to go past the tails. Um, once this gets wet, it actually um, compresses. So once there's actually water in it, um, all the fibers compress and it's uh, actually shorter than what it looks like right now. So you want to put this a little bit small, a little bit shorter than the actual length of the tail um, because when it's wet, it'll pretty much be perfect. So I'm going to tie that in. I'm going to come on this side, tie this one in. Just make sure those are the same. Finish tying that in and cut it out. like so. Now we're going to put one stack in for the head. We're going to be using some laser dub. This is a minnow belly, silver minnow belly. And we're just going to put a little stack in. Actually, before I put that stack in, I'm going to hit this one more time with some super glue just so those lateral lines don't pull out. So I'm gonna put a little bit of um, a, f a bigger stack on the top. So the bottom is gonna be a little, little guy about that big. I'm just gonna do a 50-50 stack. I'm just going to put that in the bottom. And for the top stack, I like to do it a little bit bigger. So that on the bottom, I'll probably like double that for the top. So right now I'm kind of just pulling it in my fingers, aligning all the fibers. So it has a nice nice taper, just like so. When you put it in, you want it to taper nice. So I'm just gonna throw that on the top. Get my th thumbnail and kind of just push it so it's 
goes on both sides there. Now we're just going to pull these two stacks back. I like to kind of pull the bottom one apart a bit so I can get my thread through and just pull back on all of it just like so then I can just come in with my whip finish throw four or five turn whip finish in there and we'll get some eyes on her so once your threads cut out I'm just gonna grab my little brush here again brush all this laser dub out so it blends a little bit easier just like so now we're going to throw a fish skull fist mask this is in number seven If you don't have uh, these, you can just throw eyes on the side. Just throw some, you can put some uh, living eyes on there. Now what I like to do with these, these are actually kind of like a, uh, I always thought these were plastic. These are kind of like a silicone type kind of almost. And um, the, the middle part right here, when you put your uh, stack on with your thread after, sometimes this actually kind of like opens up and pops over. So what I like to do is just grab some LePage um, Ultra Gel uh, Super Glue. And I'm just gonna put a little bit in here just so it has something to bind to on that laser dub. And uh, I find that once, uh, once you put this on, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's really good, really good stuff. So I'm just gonna throw that on there. Hold it there for a second. Let that set up a bit. While that's setting up, I can actually put my eyes on. And I'm just gonna take that same super glue and throw on some eyes. And we're just gonna be using some living eyes, seven mil, and these are in earth. Throw that guy in there. Let that set up for a second. Now we can just come in with our thread. Just build up a little head here in front of this fish mask. Just holding it in place even more. I'm just gonna throw a whip finish in here. It's the best way to uh, build it up. Just like so. Make sure that's nice and tight in there. Now I'm just gonna come in with a little bit of Loon Outdoors fluorescing flow. And this actually soaks down into these threads it makes it even stronger because you don't want you don't want this ripping apart you want these these flies to last so once that's cured once that uh, fish mask is dry uh, you're ready to fish so tie a couple of these up. If you're uh, looking for some new patterns for bass, this is an awesome pattern. Um, I have one in olive here as well. 
show you the one in olive with the lateral scales. So this is the one with the lateral scales and um, a bucktail tail. And I also have one in black, which I don't have on me. But it's an awesome little pattern. Um, if you fish a lot of uh, rivers with uh, smallies or even some uh, ponds with largemouth, uh, you're definitely going to catch some fish. So hopefully you liked today's video, guys. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that about the fly, uh, you can drop that down in the comment box below. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot again for watching. We'll see you in the next one, guys.